Hi guys, I'm in the kitchen and I was cleaning out my refrigerator and I realized I have some stuff that's going to go bad so I have to eat it up or freeze it. So what I thought I would do is, uh, Rod and I love stir fry and I have chicken in the freezer that I have cut into strips to make stir fry and I could just pull out that chicken but I don't really have any vegetables so I got these pea pods on sale from Kroger a couple of weeks ago, or last week, and I ate a few of them, took them for lunch just as like a snack, and now I'm going to split them into two bags, and I'm going to make a stir fry veggie type thing. So I'll be able to pull out one bag of vegetables, one bag of my chicken, I could also use uh, strips of steak or uh, pork, whatever but I'm going to make the vegetables. I have carrots that I have julienned, and uh, I don't have a, I should have shown you how I do this, but I just cut the carrot into slices and then cut them up. You can cut your carrots any way you want to for your stir fry, it doesn't matter. But I'm not really sure if I can freeze carrots and, um, you know, make them taste good. Some vegetables really don't. I tried freezing Garden Fresh uh, green beans a few years ago and when I took them out of the freezer they weren't very good because I didn't blanch them. So that's what I'm going to do with these carrots. I'm going to throw them into the uh, hot water, boiling water, and then I'm going to rinse them off with cold water and then I'll be able to freeze them and they'll taste okay. I also have my favorite sweet peppers. I've been taking these to work as well, cutting them up into pieces and taking these to work and they're delicious. But I still have a bunch of them. So I'm going to cut these up and put those in my mix. I will have my uh, baby pea pods, I'll have peppers, I'll have carrots, and I think that's it. Oh, onion. I'm going to probably put some onion in here as well. I do have onion in the refrigerator, it's not going to go bad but it would still be good to have it in my mix and have everything ready to go. So when I come home, I grab it out of the freezer, I can uh, either put it into the microwave or uh, take, the, take the items out of the bag and just throw them into some hot water. Okay, um, I will throw these in here. When I do decide to make this meal, I'll probably pull out um, a bag from the freezer and put it in the refrigerator and it'll defrost throughout the day and then when I come home at night I'll just throw the chicken into the skillet, cook the chicken up and then the vegetables and you don't want your vegetables to be really um, soft so you throw those in pretty much after the chicken is cooked or just before the chicken is cooked so they're only the vegetables are only in there for maybe about 10 minutes or so. That's the way I like them. But everybody has their own uh, taste. So you cook them up as well as you want them. If you like them crunchy, you don't want to throw your vegetables in with your raw chicken and cook it all up together because you won't have vegetables that are crunchy. So I'm just going to get these blanched, like I said, uh, just a few minutes in the hot water then you want to throw them into cold water. So I will be doing that. And um, this is just a really simple way to save money on items that you might otherwise throw away. These were on sale for a dollar. And I've eaten some, but I still don't want to throw them away. I hate throwing away food. You guys know that, and I know you hate to throw away food too. So I'll bring you back when it's all ready, and I have my bags ready, and I'll show you what one meal of the vegetables will look like for my husband and I. Okay, I have um, an onion that I had already used half of, so I'm going to cut this, and this is just the way I cut my onions. It's just simple and easy. I'm cut it in half. I had a little piece of onion in here as well, and I already cut that, but you just want to peel off your the skin, and I always end up taking an extra layer just because that's the way I do it. And then, this is so simple, and like I said, I don't necessarily have to throw in an onion right now, but it's so much easier to come home, 
throw the entire bag into the pan and it's done. I don't have to cut up anything. I'm finding that when I come home at night, uh, if my husband's already here, he's, he's in the garage and he's working on uh, lawn boys and stuff like that. We do still have our personal business. So he's doing that stuff and I come in here and we're both hungry and I just, I want everything to be done and ready to make it a lot easier. I'm making a few freezer meals. That really helps out. Uh, this meal is really going to help out too. So these are carrots and I might, I think I need some more carrots, but I want to show you. I just put these in, in the, um, the boiling water for maybe about two minutes and the knife cuts through it pretty well and they're pretty soft. Mm. They're soft, but they're still not, they're not mushy, and I'll still be able to cook these when I throw them into my pan to make my, my meal. So, put those over there. Yeah. I'm going to need some more carrots. And these carrots, I didn't realize I had carrots. I was at the store and I thought to myself, oh, I think I need carrots. And I grabbed them because I didn't want to go to the store again. Well... These carrots do need to get, get used up. I'll use those and freeze those. And then I have another bag that I'll end up using. So to make it, and I'm just going to put it into a regular um, uh, Ziploc bag because it's not going to be in the freezer for very long. And I'm going to throw in some carrots. I'm going to throw all those carrots into this one bag. I have peppers. There are orange peppers, red peppers, and uh, yellow peppers. These are sweet peppers, though, and they're delicious. Uh, I'll need to cut up some more. I'm going to throw in half of this onion. And then a handful of the pea pods. And like I said, this is to use up items that I have in my refrigerator. You can put zucchini in your stir fry, um, broccoli, cauliflower, whatever you want. But this just needs to be used up. And I want to try to take the air out, so I'm pressing the air as I'm uh, sealing the bag. I'm going to put the date on here, and I'll put it in the refrigerator. This can be used as a stir fry for like a Chinese food mix, or I could use it also for fajitas or... Uh, a Mexican type dish so I'm not going to put any uh, liquid type thing in here if I wanted to I could put make like a sauce for a Chinese food type thing like a soy sauce I could do a Worcestershire type of a sauce you know whatever like that I'm gonna leave them blank you know no sauce at all and I can make up my mind when I grab it so that's one bag and I'm gonna make another bag and Real quick, I wanted to show you the um, stir-fry vegetables that I made. I put these in about a week ago and I added frozen broccoli and everything's in here. The only thing, the carrots came out, the skin of the carrot came out a little bit dark when I took it out of the freezer. It's not a big deal to me. I still know that it's good. And I do not uh, peel my carrots. I choose to wash them well and then just eat the peel. So that's one bag of the stir fry plus a little bit of frozen broccoli. We're also having chicken and I already made up my sweet and sour sauce. Uh, I have wild rice in here. I don't know if you can see that. And white rice. I'll be mixing that together and that is what's for dinner tonight. And the vegetables are delicious. Let me... I tried one of the carrots. Already, I'm not going to turn the camera on me. Mm, that was really good. I did add some sesame oil and a little bit of peanut oil. I'm also going to throw in um, some nuts in here. I don't know what kind of nut, but when I do make the video, I'll let you know. Thanks for watching, everybody. Oh, she got that on video.